the best sunglasses for saltwater inshore fishing. Hey everybody, Joe Simons, like diamonds. I did a podcast a little while ago with some team members and we talked all about our favorite glasses. I revealed that I personally own about 24 to 25 pairs of polarized glasses. Everything from Costa, everything from Under Armour and Hobie and Maui Jim and Smith and Oakley and Salt Life and everything in between. To me, having a great pair of polarized sunglasses is just as important as having a rod or, real, or multiple rods and reel for certain scenarios. I don't know that there's an absolute best for every single scenario. I don't know that, that exists. It's just like me saying a surf rod is gonna be the best for every type of fishing, sir. That's just not true. So I do believe there are some glasses that if I could only afford one or two, here's what I would get. Now I'm gonna start off with these. I don't know that this is the answer, but I get a question about these because I'm wearing them all the time. These are the Oakley Holbrooks. These are probably the best looking glasses. I don't know that I would call these fishing glasses though, but people bring it up all the time. It's like, I, I'm wearing it like in some of our sheep's head videos and videos where uh, a lot of times, honestly, I just forget my nicer pair of glasses and I make it to Luke's house and that's where the, we keep the boat. And all of a sudden like, man, I don't really want to go back. But I, I use these as my drivers. These are in my Tahoe at any given time. I mean, look at them. They look amazing. They are great glasses. If you don't know Oakley, um, I would say they kind of own the market in terms of the best filters. And, and if you guys don't know this, Oakley, Costa, Ray-Ban, I mean, all these big names, Gucci, they're all under one umbrella. One company owns all of them. There's only a couple really big sunglass companies in the entire world. And Luxottica there, I believe is the name of it. I'm sorry if I butcher it. But they own all of those brands. So Costa's owned by the same group as Oakley. And even those guys internally know that Oakley has the best filters. So I love these Oakley Holbrooks for driving and some fishing. But if it was tournament day, I would not be wearing these. You could see the gap. I mean, there's a massive gap in between my eye and these. It lets a lot more light in. So these are not ideal if you could only buy like one pair for fishing. Uh, on the other hand, if you only had wanted to have one good pair for everything, these are kind of a decent hybrid but I think you would be missing out on just so much of that glare when it comes to sight fishing. So I bring that up just because so many people ask about them. I do love these glasses. Now I might shock you uh, with the next piece of news. I don't think Costa is the best at all. I think they've done a fantastic job of marketing. I bought these with my own money. I mean, I like Costa. I wear them on occasion, but I, I do believe they've just done a better job of marketing. I don't think they have the absolute best product. I think they have more sponsored guides and more sponsored people than any of these other companies combined, which you know kind of gets their name out there a lot. And a lot of people just assume, hey, if so-and-so is wearing them, they're, they're good. And they're not bad. I just don't think they're the absolute best. They, they don't seem to have the best fit. They slide down your face a lot. They break a lot. Their customer services become, I would say, uh, not as good as it used to be is probably the best way to put it. I think they're even dealing with some lawsuit stuff be, because of that. So I don't believe that that this would be my go-to pick. And that might shock some of you because I know it's probably the, the number one brand uh, out there. I do want to lean over towards z this side here. And if I could only pick one, it would be Smith. And no, we're not sponsored by Smith. We don't have any incentives or anything through them. If you look at our store at fishdrawn.com, we do offer these because we pay for them with our own doggone money. We don't get any bigger break. I think we actually would make more money if we sold Costas, but we believe that these, these Smith Guide Choice, I have the dock side as well, but these are the Guide Choice. And this is probably this kind of amber lens this is what most of the inshore experts would say is probably the best just overall for all types of light. Now, these are great. They're not going to have the same pop. And of course, you can get them with different, different lenses. You can get them with the same kind of blue or green. And uh, that's kind of dependent on you. But in particular, these amber lens, they're not going to have that same pop as these, as this shiny blue lens. But this is what Luke wears. I mean, if you see my brother, he's wearing these exact same glasses in like 95% of all his videos, especially sight fishing, fishing. These are one of the best. These do have a whole lot more of a, of a kind of a bend to them. These are going to wrap around your face a whole lot better. And there's going to be very little, if any, depending on your face, light coming in here through the side. Smith has done a fantastic job of making glasses. They've done a poor job of having a ton of sponsored people and kind of getting their name out. And I think it's mostly because 
Smith, if you guys do any kind of snow skiing or any other kind of water sports or outdoor, I mean, they own so many different markets and fishing is just one other area that they do extremely, extremely well in, but they haven't put the big budget to get a ton of sponsored people like Acosta would. So if I can only get one pair, this might have to be it. Now I do have them, and this is the lighter, the non-glass version. And this is the glass version. These do look sharp. I mean, these are powerful. They're a little bit heavier on the face though. Um, you know, anytime you get glass, it's gonna be a little bit of a step up. Um, and that means that usually it's gonna come with a slightly more weight. Like most people might not notice, but me, because I wear so many different glasses, I will notice this after five, six, seven hours in a boat, especially. It just starts to get a little bit more heavier on your ears and on the bridge of your nose. But man, uh, these look absolutely amazing. And I talked earlier about, you know, certain types of lenses or glasses for certain scenarios. I even went to the, the, to the, to the very far end of the spectrum and bought these. If you can see them, these are these like very clear ones. So early morning, like if you're fishing earlier in the morning uh, or even right when the sun's going down, basically the twilight hours, these things are amazing. I would not recommend unless you just have a really big budget for glasses and you love buying them like me to buy these. I very rarely wear these. Uh, just very, very special occasions like the once a year when I fish a tournament and I want to have the absolute best for every hour of the day. Now, that talks about Smith here. The other one, and, and I, I do believe this might be the best one. It's a little bit more expensive, but I believe this could be the best. And, and here's why. After talking with these manufacturers, and, and I'm going to open this up in a second, and talking with all kinds of different anglers who have worn a lot of different glasses and obviously wearing a lot myself, these Oakleys, and this is the split shot, seem to be the best made. Oakley has a couple of different patents, and I believe has probably one of the best fishing glasses out there. They've done the absolute worst job in terms of getting a ton of sponsored anglers. That's because Oakley's Oakley. Like, I think, this is me speaking, that Oakley has so many different niches. And even if you go to Oakley and look at their website, I mean, fishing's down kind of towards the very bottom, but they have put some serious time and anything they make is going to be top of the line. And these glasses are super crazy light. Look at how they look on my face. They look great. And look at this. There is almost zero gap in here. And this has the, the least amount of gap on my face to let light come in. These have a certain wrap. And what Oakley has done in terms of the patent, they have a couple different ones. But the biggest one is the filter. The biggest one is the lens they are using and even the curvature of the lens. Some of the different glasses out there, I won't name names, you're basically looking through almost like small layer of glue and don't even know it. This is one of the purest forms of fishing sunglasses and certainly the best filters out there on the lens out of any of these glasses. The bad news is they're expensive, just like a lot of these higher end ones. These things are not cheap. Good news, of course, if you're an insider member, you get 20% off all of our glasses or Smith, Oakley's and, and et cetera. I know we just got some of these in. Another cool feature, I, I wear these on occasion, this is like a this is made of like actual steel, like this is unbreakable, and this is basically your little croquis, if you will. And all you do here, if you can see this on the end, and this comes with all the split shots. You just pop that open, and then you put that in like yay. Let me uh, I'm getting old here and can't even see anything, and then click it back in, and now you have these on here, pretty much permanently, unless you do something completely crazy like doing a front flip out of your boat or your uh, your kayak. So you put that in. And boom, now I have a literally a piece of steel. This is not like old school croaky that, you know, could potentially break if someone ripped it. This thing ain't ripping. The, the end of the glasses are going to rip before uh, before this. And now you have a piece of steel behind you that still feels super light. Not too annoying in terms of, uh, of getting in the, in the way. But once again, I'm, I'm personally a fan of not wearing this. So the majority of time when you see me in videos wearing these, I do not have these and I take them off just by simply popping that out, pop it back in if you guys want to see that, and boo bam sham. That quickly, now I have glasses without that. And that comes standard with the pair of glasses. And I hope that's helpful. I hope that uh, gives you a little bit of an idea because I had so many questions on that podcast of my favorite glasses. I will summarize. These Oakley Holbrooks are my absolute favorite, and I think one of the best just driving glasses in general that will still do the job on the water but not necessarily the best fishing glasses in the world. If I could only pick two, or maybe if, if you had a budget for three, and of course, if you're an insider, remember you get 20% off all this stuff anyways, so you're gonna be, two of them pays for your membership actually, two different glasses. 
when you start talking about the price of these things, these three would be my go-to. If I could sell all these and only keep three, I would keep these for my driving glasses. These are the Holbrooks. I would keep a pair of Smiths and either in this amber, that's probably my favorite. Uh, it might not have the same kind of flash as, uh, as this mirrored lens, but uh, the amber is, is probably the best fishing glass in terms of uh, the color and the feel. And this is in the guide's choice. Dock sides are great as well, but if I could only pick one, it would be the guide's choice. And then I would go with these split shots. These things are bad to the bone. And if you get a true angler who's not sponsored and get to wear all these, I believe most of them would say in they like without a doubt, like these are probably some of the best glasses. Uh, they are crazy light. They are made of some of the best materials out there in the market, and they certainly have the best lenses and the best filters for anglers. Once again, Oakley did spend the time to get the best filters for anglers like us, for inshore anglers, to be able to see into the water. That is where they put all their time and energy on. Now, they just need to do a little bit better job of, of marketing, in my opinion, uh, and hopefully this video will help them out uh, a little bit. We are not sponsored by any of these groups. We uh, tell it like it is. And like I said, we have them in our Fish Strong store right now. And uh, and we're constantly adding stuff too. So if you guys have a pair of, of glasses that you think are better than any of these or, or truly have something that is unique, let us know. We'd love to, I'd love to buy them personally and uh, add to my collection and uh, test them out on the on the water. But for the overall money and the value and, and even the longevity, I mean, I, I couldn't find the box to this because I've had these for so many years now. And these things still hold up. These are my driving glasses. My kids have dropped them on the floor. We've stomped on them. They've fallen out of the Tahoe multiple times and they still look and feel great. Uh, so I love the fact Oakley's was the very first pair of fishing glasses I ever got. I'm talking like old school blades with uranium lens back when Andre Agassi was wearing and playing tennis. Uh, that's how long I've had Oakley's and I still have that pair today as you guys saw in that original video I did. I think these are one of the best glasses for the money and for the value. It is gonna sting though if you drop in the water. And if you have that type of uh, itis, meaning you have the issue of things falling overboard quite a bit, then I would certainly use this uh, this steel little band here to make sure you don't lose them. So that's it. Guys, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Of course, if you're an insider member, go to fishstrong.com. We have a limited supply of these. We spent our own harder money buying these for you guys and of course you get 20 percent off which is a legit money you buy one or two pairs or one for you and your spouse i mean you're talking about saving now 100 plus dollars uh just from uh from our discount so hope that's helpful let me know if you have any questions tight lines and we'll see you soon saltstrong.com And where the line today